Welcome back to Developing Story. One family in Liberty is trying to find out who shot their dog. The Moore family says their dog came into the house one night about two weeks ago with an arrow piercing his body. The dog is still alive, but still no one has come forward with any answers. We went back to the home and met the dog this afternoon. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson is in our newsroom tonight with more on this developing story. Jarvis? Well, that's right, Cody. The owner says if you are a pet owner, then you know just how scary something like this can be. They've had the dog for three years. It's a bull mastiff. And again, they're wanting to know who did this. Now, he's mostly kept in a fenced space. We're told it was a broad uh, head arrow with a metal shaft that pierced the dog's body. My father had called me. Um, it was probably about 8.30 at night. A horrifying call that still hasn't given many answers for an Anderson County family. Someone shot their dog, Dewey, with an arrow. Fortunately, he survived. He was in the backyard using the restroom and he had on a light up collar. And, you know, he came in the door and he was bleeding and the arrow was sticking out of him. And now Dewey has to live with those scars and wounds left behind. He looks nothing like anything you would hunt at night. Good boy. There you go. Get all the dogs in now. Here are pictures after the arrow had been removed. We've blurred the wounds because some may find it disturbing to see. The night it happened, Jessica's dad had to drive Dewey 45 minutes away to a veterinarian. They were not able to stitch up the wounds because he is such a broad dog and the type of arrow that was in him enclosed so much infection. Although he isn't displaying aggressive behavior, just looking at him is a constant reminder of what Dewey endured. They told us, you know, anywhere from months to a year, you know, that things would start to heal properly. Unfortunately, the price tag for this kind of injury was more than $2,000, but thanks to a close family friend, the bill was paid in full. I knew, you know, we didn't have any type of money to pay that kind of bill that it was going to cost, especially with it being a 24 hour vet. Now the arrow was less than a centimeter away from hitting a main artery. Right now, Dewey is on three different types of antibiotics. Animal control was called in to investigate this matter. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Jarvis, thank you.